Okay, I'm sure you are like me and you have tons of fonts in your computer and you really want to use them with your scrapbook cutter. Um, and how to get them up there on the web with, you know, in either a Cricut Design Space Studio, whatever, or Scan and Cuts software. I'm going to show you how you can do it and make the cut and it's very easy. Okay. Let me just start from scratch here. Okay, you choose whatever font you have uh, and make the cut. It's nice because here it says you could show the face and all the glyphs. So you get to scan through and see what you have. Um, and like I said, I, I have tons. Um, I'm just going to use the Sweet Sensation one because it's pretty. And type in. Um, I'll type in my name this time. Okay, Ruthian. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that the split by glyphs is checked. That makes each one of these letters individual. If you have the no splitting and you see how when they're overlapped or white, that all gets cut out and that's not what we want. We want to split by glyph. So what you do is you type in what you want to split by glyph and accept it. And here's the magic, and it's not hard. You select it, you come down here, and you select weld. And now you can export this as an SVG or a PNG, whatever you like. I'll export it as a, um, a raster PNG because I know that um, I'm using my desktop and uh, Design Space doesn't like it. So I'm just going to save this to my file and I'll name it Ruthann as a PNG. Okay, and then we'll head over to Design Studio. Okay, actually, the Cricut does not, I mean, the Design Space does not like green. So what we have to do is we'll just change it to any color other than that light green and now we can export it to a raster PNG file okay save the file and within we'll just change that here we are we're going to replace it okay now we can go over to design space now that we're in design space we'll just click upload choose the image browse and it's under my name, so let's look up Ruthann. There it is. And you can see how it's all nice and smooth. There's nothing. There's just a little cut in here, but that's all right. And there you go. Now we can just add it, insert the image, and bam, done. And you can just go and make it. So I hope that helps you. It, I could see this coming in very handy with special words and, you know, if you want to add things, you know, at a slant or an angle and, you know, be very creative, you can now in just a few quick steps instead of trying to you know have a font here and have a font there you could just turn it into a PNG or an SVG and not worry about the font on any computer or your tablet or whatever you're using so I hope you enjoyed that and um, thank you again for stopping by have a great day